going on guys? This is Mike with Michael Anthony Photography in Los Angeles. Thank you for checking out my article in this month's Shutter Magazine. Guys, this month was month to you all about posing. Specifically, we're talking about posing men and then posing couples. When you guys are posing men, the rules are a lot more lax than they are with posing women. We only have a couple of areas with the guys that we have to pay attention to to make sure that they are not gonna feel self-conscious uh, in their images. In addition to that, guys, with lighting, uh, we can light guys on the broad side, we can light them on the short side, we can split light them, um, we can backlight them. There's a lot of different things that you guys can do with men in terms of lighting in order to, uh, to take advantage of um, the, uh, the best possible situation that you're in when you're shooting uh, a wedding day. When it comes to posing couples, guys, this is the bread and butter of what we do. Now, when you guys pose uh, couples, if you guys are looking at your images and you your lighting was nailed, your composition was great, your post-production was awesome, but something just isn't clicking, oftentimes, guys, it's gonna be the subtleties in the pose, posing the hands, the arch in the spine. There's gonna be a lot of little things that might not be coming together to tell that story the exact way that you guys want to. Definitely, definitely take a few minutes to, uh, to critique every single one of your images and think in your head what would have made this image better so that next time you're out in the same set of circumstances, you can go ahead and, uh, and do that as well too. One of the other techniques that I talked about in my article was motion posing. Motion posing is one of the most effective ways to get natural fluid um, posing or natural fluid images uh, from your subjects without making them feel uncomfortable because a lot of times people get stiff um, when they're posing for pictures. They're not models. They, they don't do it too often. So what we do um, with our couples is we'll have them like walk toward us and look at each other and they would just move the exact way that they would normally move. Sometimes we would actually tell them if they're walking um, to the bride per se, hey, uh, rock your hips back and forth like you're on a catwalk, right? And then when they're doing that, it's actually creating that kind of fashion walk that you see models do on the runway and, uh, and it actually accentuates the S curves in the woman as well too. If you guys are not doing motion posing right now, I definitely recommend adding it into your, uh, your posing toolbox and, uh, and getting, getting out there um, and trying new things with your subjects. When you guys nail a pose, uh, typically your sales are gonna be higher, Typically, your um, referrals are going to come from that particular job because people are, uh, are more apt to refer you if they love their images, obviously, right? So, guys, thank you again for checking out my article in, uh, in Shutter Magazine. I hope to see you all at Shutterfest, uh, and we'll talk to you guys next month.